Hi there. So we are going to look at the bonding between lithium in group one and oxygen in group six. So as you can see, because lithium is in group one, we know that it has one electron in its outer shell. Because oxygen is in group six, we know that it has six electrons in its outer shell. So let's have a look to see how they will bond together. So let's have a look at the bonding first in lithium. So lithium in group one has one electron in its outer shell, but three electrons overall. Once it's given away, it's one electron. Remember, it's much easier to give away one than it is to gain seven more. So it will have a full outer shell, but it will only fill the first shell because it only had three electrons to start off with. We'll draw some brackets around it to show everybody that it's now an ion and we will draw the charge. Of course, now it has one more extra proton in its nucleus than it does electrons in the orbitals. So therefore, the overall charge is plus one. Now for the oxygen. We will know that it's in group six, so it had six electrons of its own. Remember that because this is a different type of atom, we are going to show that those are electrons as dots rather than crosses this time, just to differentiate between where the original electrons um, started from. Now, each oxygen can only accept, oops, can only accept one electron from the lithium. And lithium only has one to give. So that would mean that it can't actually help lithium out. Uh, lithium can't help oxygen out by itself. We're going to need two lithium ions, each giving one electron to fill up the outer shell of oxygen. We show that by writing the times two next to the lithium. We're then going to draw the brackets around the oxygen. Now, because the oxygen has uh, received two extra electrons, or it's gained two extra electrons, its overall charge is minus two. So that's how we show that we know there's two lithiums for every one oxygen. We would call this uh, molecule now lithium, the metal always goes first in the name, oxide. Whenever a non-metal becomes an ion, it, it changes its name to have IDE at the end. So it becomes lithium oxide. And the formula, the chemical formula, would be Li2. That indicates that there's two lithium um, for every one oxygen. So it would just be Li2O. Hope that was helpful.